it's now 2023. Happy New Year. Oh my goodness. We're kicking off the year with some pretty big news. Coming up in today's video, we're going to be talking about Ryback, Mickey James, a potentially huge debut for the WWE. And yes, things are about to get really spicy because we're talking about Karen Jarrett, Jeff Jarrett, and Kurt Angle. And trust me, you don't want to miss this. Now, if you don't use social media, you may not be up to speed on everything that has happened here. But long story short, Ryback has been in a very large, long legal battle with the WWE. Now, the reason for this is because Ryback actually wanted to own the trademark for what is now his real name, which is Ryback. Silly decision, but nonetheless, that is technically his real name, and he's been going back and forth with WWE for a very long time. Now, with that being said, Ryback, who has spent numerous amount of time uh, battling with WWE publicly, ranting on WWE, having so many negative comments to say about WWE's Vince McMahon, well, now things might actually have a good positive spin to the story, because it appears that WWE and Ryback are no longer feuding for this trademark. Ryback recently tweeted that WWE has given up and given their resignation for my Ryback trademark. Everything I have created has been awarded to me and we await the USPTO to make it official. The next chapter begins in 2023 now that my health has been restored. Never give up and stay hungry. Thank you, Ryback. Now, what does this actually mean for the future of Ryback? Seeing that WWE has dropped the trademark battle with him, I think they're probably going to steer clear from bringing him back, despite the fact that WWE has been bringing back a ton of former WWE superstars. But I think Impact Wrestling could be an option. And I think it's safe to say that AEW could even potentially explore the services of Ryback if it does make sense. Now, is this a big signing for AEW? Is this a big signing for Impact Wrestling? To be honest with you, I just don't think so. But hey, you never know. Wrestling is absolutely crazy. We saw what happened in 2022. And I feel like 2023 is going to be a massive year. I want to hear your craziest prediction in the comments down below. So tell me what you think is going to be the biggest and boldest prediction for 2023 in the world of pro wrestling. Is Kurt Angle about to get exposed? Well, it looks like Karen Jarrett is definitely ready to put some stuff out there. And this is where things get absolutely nuts. Now, if you're not familiar with how all of this started, basically Karen was married to Kurt, then they separated, then she got married to Jeff. And basically what ended up happening here is all throughout the years, wrestling fans have been really weird about the whole ordeal. Now this has actually transpired over to AEW television. Kurt Angle put out a tweet and now Karen Jarrett is firing back. When replying to a tweet that someone has pissed off Karen Jarrett, Karen did respond with, maybe Kurt will think twice before making threats, insulting, disrespecting my husband. I am done living in fear. I have 24 years of dirt and I am ready to start unloading. I am done. Hashtag moving on. But wait, there is more. Karen then follows up with this tweet saying, funny and sad how all of that has been swept under the rug over all of these years. Jeff didn't steal me from anyone. Hashtag Dawn Marie. Hashtag Kelly Kelly. Hashtag Deanne Sidon, to name a few. And that was essentially all that was said by Karen. But keep in mind, Kurt Angle did not respond just yet. And if he does, I will provide you guys with an update. But it is important to understand that there are two sides to every story. And until something is out there, it's really hard to form a true opinion on this. Now, with that being said, I do want to see AEW grow. And Jeff Jarrett does have a really big position in the company that could potentially help AEW's business grow completely. So it is really important that AEW tries to keep the drama in 2022 and uh, just leave that all behind because in 2023, we want to see big things from this company, but it's really important that they steer clear from the drama that can arise from something like this. It's also really important to acknowledge the fact that pretty much all of this stemmed from the fact that Max Caster did his little freestyle rap on AEW Dynamite, which does beg the question, should Max Caster really go this far? Is it necessary? You know, I'm a huge fan of Max Caster and everything that he's done on AEW television, and I think his freestyles have definitely been creative, but there have been times where sometimes he just might be crossing the line, and for the sake of the company's growth, maybe, just maybe, they should double think some of the decisions that they make when it comes to these freestyle raps. I'm just saying, at the end of the day, I'm not personally offended, but it could have an impact on others. And obviously Kurt Angle is not even employed by AEW. So it is just a really interesting spin. But again, hardcore fans are gonna love it uh, regardless of who it impacts. Will Mickey James be returning to the WWE? Well, for those who don't know, Mickey James will be competing at Hard to Kill for Impact Wrestling's upcoming pay-per-view, and she will be competing for the Impact World Knockouts Championship against Jordan Grace. However, if Mickey James does lose the match, then she will be gone from Impact Wrestling for good. Now, this is all very interesting because there are tons of rumors surrounding Mickey James 
and her contract situation. And a lot of people do believe that she could be on her way out by putting over Jordan Grace before she goes. If you didn't watch Impact Wrestling throughout 2022, they were probably the most consistent wrestling promotion, despite not having the largest reach such as AEW and WWE. But with Mickie James doing such a great job in Impact Wrestling and Impact is making it very clear that her in-ring career could be done, it does make me wonder if Mickie James could potentially have a future with Impact on a back office role that would be considered a very huge promotion for. Her. And while I've always been a big fan of Mickey James and her in-ring and character work, I do think she would be better suited for a role as a coach uh, in the WWE Performance Center. But something is happening in pro wrestling right now that makes me think we will see Mickey James in a WWE ring for WWE WrestleMania. And yes, this is the debut of Nick Aldis. The rumors of Nick Aldis joining WWE have been out ever since he announced that he would be leaving the NWA. And just like Mickey James, I do think Nick Aldis would eventually be a great coach for the WWE Performance Center. But of course, we gotta get that one big run. So what does WWE do in the situation of putting Nick Aldis on TV? Well, what I think they will do and what I think they should do are two different things. I think WWE, if they are going to sign Nick Aldis, it would take place at the Men's Royal Rumble, which makes sense because I also think Mickey James will be another entrant in the Women's Royal Rumble. I don't think the WWE Universe really knows who Nick Aldis is, so the best course of action would to actually be doing weekly video vignettes of both of them coming to WWE together. That's just my opinion. I think that would be the best way to execute a debut and a return, especially for somebody who is very popular outside of WWE and has a great history of being NWA champion. But again, in order for the fans to know who he is, you got to do the vignettes. And I could see WWE and NWA doing some sort of deal where we could see the NWA championship belt video packages on the WWE screens, which I genuinely believe would be a good thing for Billy Corgan and the NWA, despite the fact that the relationship with Nick Aldis definitely did not end in a positive note. It's really important to mention that NWA is pretty much struggling and a lot of people don't even know if they're going to make it throughout the entire year of 2023. And if you're one of those people who believe WWE would absolutely not benefit from this, I think WWE presenting Nick Aldis as a big deal as somebody who did carry a once prestigious championship, it could definitely help make him look a little bit better when presented to the WWE universe, especially when you're doing this on a week to week basis with vignettes. We've seen so many returns just kind of happen so randomly that I think a lot of people don't know who these people are and then it kind of hurts them in the end. So this could be a really good way for WWE to actually build value. And yes, they would still be helping the NWA a little bit as well. A released WWE superstar is also coming back to the company, but I think WWE has found the perfect role for this individual. Biff Busick, also known as Oni Larkin, has tweeted out that in 2022, I stepped away from performing in the ring. I'm not sure if I've had my last match, but if I have, I had a blast. Thank you to anyone I got to share a ring with. Thank you to all the fans. I'm really looking forward to working with WWE NXT in 2023. Happy New Year. Biff Busick is a true veteran in the wrestling world, and if he's going to be headed to NXT to help train and develop the future of WWE, I think this is a very, very solid move. Guys, if you want more videos like this, go ahead and click that subscribe button, because I'm going to keep you guys updated with non-biased wrestling coverage every single day. Let's have a happy new year.